What's up, all my fellow speedsters and all many humans throughout the multiverse? It's Kevin here. Welcome back to another reaction on the channel. Today we'll be reacting to WandaVision Season 1, Episode 4. Last episode, a um, bunch of craziness happened. We got the birth of Billy and Tommy, who are Speed and I can't remember the other kid's name from the comics. And there's like a whole story on that in the comics. Um, um, hang on. Oh, uh, let's see. What is um the other kid's name? That's actually kind of bothering me. Hang on. It was like something. Oh, Wick Wiccan? Is that his name? Uh, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but they were part of the Young Avengers, I believe, in the comics. So that could be potential foreshadowing if they want to go down that route. I mean, there's like that whole storyline with them being made out of Manif Mephisto or beings of Mephisto. I don't know. I can't remember a whole lot of it. Um... But they did have a little bit to do with Mephisto, and it does. And there's a lot of theories concerning that Mephisto might be involved somehow in the season. And I'm very curious what's going to happen with that. And I'm very curious to see what's going to happen with uh, Ma. Um, um, oh god, what's her name? Geraldine? Is that her name? Geraldine? Um, yeah, that's her name. But I think she is Monica from Captain Marvel, like that little kid. Uh, th someone told me that on Instagram. I don't know if that's true, but that's true. That's a, some good connectivity over there. Um, I'm very curious what's gonna happen with that. I'm wondering if we're gonna see the outside world now, like the outside perspective of what's going on in Westview, and we might get to s finally get some reveals. I am very excited for that. And we are slowly seeing Wanda descend to madness, and it might even lead to her becoming a future threat. Um, as we saw, if you read uh, House of M and Avengers Disassembled, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but, uh, let's see. I'm also very curious, like, what exactly is Vision in this show? Because at first I thought, well, maybe Vision is just like a manifestation of Wanda. But it seems like Vision kind of has his own personality in a way. Like, he's starting to question things, which I was very curious by. Um, before it rewinded again in that episode, Vision started to question something's wrong here, something's not right, but it was rewinded, so I'm very curious to see what's going to happen with that, and I'm wondering how, uh, what's going to happen with Vision, like, is this show just going to be, like, a conclusion to Vision's character, after this you're going to put his, his character to rest, or... Is, will he be fully revived after all this madness is taken care of? And I'm very curious to see how this is going to tie into Spider-Man 3 and um, Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. But anyway, guys, um, yeah. Um, anything else? Um, no, not really. Wanda's powers were going haywire, uh, which was kind of cool. I also, um, someone pointed out to me in the comments that um, this was pretty much not Full, full House, so thank you for that. Because I wasn't sure what time period Full House came out, so... Since th that was the 70s, we're moving on to the 80s. I have no idea what show they're going to do here. Um, but I believe um, Full House is like late 80s, early 90s. And I'm, it's either going to be Full House this episode or next episode's going to be Full House. Unless they don't do Full House and they do Friends. That's the only other 90s show I can think of. As for 2000s, the only show I can really think of is Malcolm in the Middle, and that's about it. But... Um, because I didn't watch a whole lot of sitcoms when I was growing up. I really doubt that they'll do the Big Bang Theory type of setting for this show. But I'm very curious to see what the other what other sitcoms and sh shows will be adapting here. By the way, guys, yeah, this is going to be WandaVision Season 1, Episode 4. Let's get right into the reaction. Man, that look Wanda gave is fucking scary, man. What the hell? What the? Wait, what? What's happening? Is she a man? Wait, what? Oh, wait, this is... Oh, this is after Hulk snap. This is after Endgame. Okay. Yeah, this is after Hulk snap. Okay. That was five years ago. Disappeared. Yep, like half the other population. Okay, so we're 
Okay, I like this because one thing I didn't like about Far From Home is they kind of glossed over everybody coming back. Now we're going to see the actual repercussions of that. That, that was dope because I was really c confused as to why um, she was like reforming. I thought that like she was a manifestation of Wanda, but no, I like this. Okay, Sword Headquarters. Okay, my mic is blocking this. So, oh, the layout is very similar to the Triskelion. Oh, so she worked at Sword too. Oh, she's probably talking about Carol. Oh, she, oh, her mom founded Sword. Okay, Westview, alright, so we're catching up. Oh, it's the dude from Ant-Man the Wasp! Oh. Oh, did he do the card trick that Scott taught him? Hang on, I want to see that again. Oh, he did! <laughs> oh, Scott taught him that. See, Ant-Man is not useless. Oh, so Wanda, like, actually created Westview. Okay, because I thought Wanda was just in Westview in the real world, and she just, like, made her own dimension or something. But she actually created Westview itself. Okay. Oh, wait, is that the helicopter? It's different. Because that's a sword logo. What if that turned into the red helicopter from Episode 2? Yeah, that's the helicopter. I know that. For a fact. Oh, she was sucked in. Well, that's not good. Seeing things from the outside perspective. I love this already. Oh, wait. Isn't she the chick from Thor? The first two Thor movies. They're not getting anything. Oh, they're seeing the footage. Okay, so that's how they're seeing the footage. Oh, wait. What if he... W Is he the beekeeper? That we saw in episode 2? Wait, was it episode 1 or episode 2? No, I think it was episode 2. What the hell? Oh, wait, there's the footage over there. <laughs> Them watching it out of context. Yeah. Yeah, I got his gem stealing. I'm um, stolen from his head. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Man, I love them just watching it out of context. Nah, you're never getting that coffee. <laughs> Okay, so she was the one that was watching them. Wanna max off a vision. Let's keep going. Wait. Agnes didn't have an ID on her. There she is. Yeah, why? Well, we have some questions are answered, but now we have more questions. <laughs> okay, so he was the one in on the radio. <laughs> it jump cutted. Okay, I'm wondering what happened to him, because he's obviously the beekeeper. Oh, that's a cool effect. That's not good. Oh, wait, we're seeing the scene in color now. Okay, that's cool. Oh, never mind. It, it cut back to black and white. Wait, what happened to the dude? Is he... Because when she rewinded, she, it, did she kill her or what? Now they're gonna see what happened. Someone is censoring the broadcast. But where's Rambo? 
They found her. Who are you? Oh, the aspect ratio is changing. Oh, we're seeing another. We're seeing another perspective. Oh, damn! Did she want to do that? So is she... It seems like she's in control, but there's gotta be more to it, though. Because cause it seems like she snapped back to reality for a second. Wait, why is Vision darker? Oh, shit! Oh, she's starting to remember a bit of the normal reality. Oh, God. Okay, so I guess we're going off that Wanda is the one that's responsible. Yeah, Vision is suspicious. Man, I hate how short these episodes are, man. Kind of wish that these episodes had end credits. Why are the credits so damn long? All right, guys. So that was WandaVision season one, episode four. Great episode. Uh, we got some answers and even more questions. So for now, it seems like Wanda is controlled, but I don't know, man. I feel like there's more to it than that. There's still quite a bit left. I think there's five episodes left of the se of the series. So. Or the season. I don't know if they're going to do a season two. But, um. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm just, Yeah, it's still. I have no idea if Wanda is fully in control or not. It seems like they're going off that she is. But I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm still a little suspicious of that. Um. And I noticed that on the wall, every single person there had an ID except for Agnes. There's something up with Agnes. I. Uh, I don't know what, but I feel like Agnes is going to be more important than she's... She's more important to the story than she's letting on. Also, I don't think I saw Dottie there either. So, I don't know if maybe she's just... Maybe Dottie isn't even like a real person unlike the other people, but I'm not too sure, man. And uh, what happened to the beekeeper, man? Like, is he dead? Like, did she did want to wipe, her, wipe him from existence? What happened to that dude? Um, but... I kind of wish we got to see some more stuff that happened afterwards, but I really did like the lead up to it. How everything that happened on the outside um, le led up to last episode, and I, and I really loved that. Um, I also loved how we're actually, we did see a bit of, of the everyone coming back, because I was like, wait, what was that opening scene? But, I, but then um, uh, it was everybody coming back after Hulk snap. So I thought that was really cool because that was something that was a little glossed over and far from home. I kind of wanted to see the actual repercussions of everything that happened because we did see the repercussions of the blip or, you know, the second snap. Well, oh wait, no, the third snap because uh, the second snap, Thanos destroyed the Infinity Stones. Um, and I really did like that. Um, so her name is Monica Rambeau. I believe that she is in the comics. I think that she has powers in the comics. Uh, hang on, let me look this up real quick. Uh, Monica Rambeau, I believe. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, she. I get. Yeah, hang on. Uh, let me uh, put this up in uh, OBS because. She seems to be a ver another Captain Marvel in the comics. Let me just pull up the image that I just downloaded. Uh, right. Give me a second. Oh wow, this image is big. I need to like really minimize it. All right, right, right. Oh wait, right here. So, um, I wonder if her being in that reality, uh, gave her her powers because she's a. It seems like she might be a bigger character later down the line. So I'm very curious to see what's gonna happen. Um, 
uh, with her. So, hang on, I don't really need this anymore. Uh, so, I'm very curious to see what they're going to do with Monica's character, because I'm wondering if they are going to build her up to become the next Captain Marvel or something. Or maybe, maybe not yet. It does depend on where Carol is going to go, because she could, like... Because uh, they could end her story um, and then have Monica replace her. I'm not too sure how that's going to work out because, you know, we already have Carol as Captain Marvel. We already, and we already gave Miss Marvel on Disney Plus and Miss Marvel has been confirmed to appear in the Captain Marvel sequel. So I'm very curious to see what they're going to do with Monica's character. Um, and uh, I really did. I really liked uh, how they did um, bring back a lot of older characters like we got well not older characters but you know references to the other mc movies like we got the uh the chick from thor one and two we got uh ancient Wu, and i really did like that scene of Wu doing the mad the car trick he finally figured it out i i kind of like that i think ant-man and the wasp is a like kind of an underrated film i hear uh, that movie gets a lot of hate for some reason i really like the ant-man movies and i can't wait for the third one um and, I don't know, I guess it was kind of a cool way to connect that movie, because Ant-Man and the Wasp felt very, you know, um, what, disjointed from the other movies, is that, is that the right, right word to use for it? I don't know. But, um, overall, great episode, um, I'm very curious what show they're going to adapt in the next episode, because this episode was definitely about the outside world, so next episode, we're probably going to go into the 90s. Um, so I'm very curious to see... No, we know not the 90s, the 80s, because last episode it was the 70s. So, whatever show they're going to adapt into the 80s, whether that's Full House, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure Full House was in the 80s. Um, I think it was like mid 80s, early 90s. Not too sure about that, because uh, that's the only other show that I can really think of. Uh, as for 90s, they'll either do Full House or Friends. That's the only other show I can think of. Uh, as for 2000s, like I said, I believe that they'll do. Um, uh, Malcolm in the Middle, because that's the only other um, show I can think of during the 2000s. And I'm very curious what they're going to do with Vision's character, because um, Vision is clearly not real, because as we saw Wanda look at Vision, he was he looked how he did <laughs> during Infinity War, he was dead. Like, he's missing his Vin Infinity Stone. So I'm very curious to see what they're going to do with this character, because it seems like Vision is becoming more and more sentient or self-aware because vision seems very suspicious about how things are turning out in the real in that reality so i'm very curious to see how that's going to go and i just really loved um how they connected the outs stuff that's happening in the outside world into what happened in the past three episodes that was dope uh we got uh, and we did get a few answers um we know some of the um we know the people that are in westview are real people um Except for Agnes, Agnes is unknown, and Dottie wasn't on there. Uh, we know how what where that helicopter came from. We know who the voice is during the radio, and we know um, about the beekeeper and about uh, Geraldine or Monica. I still want to know what happened to that beekeeper dude. Is he dead? Is he alive? What happened to that dude after Wanda rewinded time? Um, and I'm very curious to see if. Um, if the people at Sword will see the stuff that's the uncenter version of the sitcom, um, so that's gonna be uh, I'm gonna, I'm very curious to see what's gonna happen this show because this is by far the best episode. This is kind of like this is a lot like Cobra Kai and Tight and um, Star Girl for me. Every episode gets better and better, and yeah, I really enjoyed this episode. Um, I'm still sus of Agnes. So, there's something off about her, but now I'm a little sus of Dottie because she wasn't on there either. One thing they did not mention at all was the commercials. I kind of wanted to see them react to the commercials because they're like, hold on, Hydra? Why are they referencing Hydra in the commercials, you know? So I'm, I I kind of hope we get another episode about the outside world, which we might next episode. Who knows? But um, anyway, guys, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Or this reaction, sorry. I uh, really enjoyed this episode. Tell me you got your all your theories in the comments down below. Let's hear your theories. Do you think Nightmare is involved? Do you think Met Manifesto is involved? Or do you think it's just Wanda slowly losing her mind? I'd like to get that discussion rolling for you guys. And yeah, I'm going to end this reaction right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Turn on notifications so don't miss any future content. Feel free to follow me on Instagram, all that good stuff. And yeah, guys, I'm kind of adjusting my video schedule because I'm trying to see where I'm going to put my fairy tale reactions. 
because I'm gonna probably mix around my video schedule and I'll probably keep you guys updated because I want to do some fairy tale reactions for you guys, demon slayer reactions. Uh, I'm gonna do um, some more movie reactions. Uh, Godzilla, came the monsters, and Kong is on that list because uh, Godzilla vs Kong is coming out in March. I kind of want to prepare for myself for that movie because the only one I've seen is the 2014 Godzilla. And yeah, guys, as I always say, if you have any video suggestions or reaction suggestions, whether that's for movies, anime, or TV shows, post the comments down below or on the discussion tab. You're watching this on desktop or um dm me on instagram or twitter also guys we are nearing 1000 subscribers so if you guys have any suggestions what you guys want me to do for a 1000 subscriber special comment down below um i might do a live i don't know if i'll do a live reaction or if i'll do like a live stream q a uh, those are just the only uh, some ideas i have you guys have any ideas what you want me to do for a 1000 subscriber um special Post in the comments down below or DM me on Instagram or Twitter. I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts because I do want to give you guys content that you guys want to watch. But anyway, guys, yeah, I've been rambling uh, long enough. That, that's going to be the end for this reaction. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys later.